Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, That Card Guy. Today we're back for installment number two of Collecting Gonzo. Now today's gonna be, concentrate on relic cards. So these are jersey bat patch cards. We got through the autographs in the last video. And today we're gonna do the first batch of jersey cards. Now I have a lot of unique Gonzo cards. Now I've talked about it in the last video. I have a couple thousand different Gonzo cards, all unique. And these jersey cards, I think I have about 300 or so different ones. So that's what we're going with today. Uh, I forgot to put this one back in its spot over here where it goes. But we're going to start at 2001. 2001 was his first jersey card. And I will flip through these relatively quickly. You see this big pile here? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about every single card. But I am going to flip through them all so you can see them all and see the variety that they have. He didn't have any jersey cards before 2001 when he played with the Cubs and the Astros and everything else. It wasn't until he got with the D-backs and uh, in our World Series year, we got these cards. So if they're, if they're basic cards, I will just go over them very quickly. If there's something unique about them, whether it be the numbering, like, you know, that was number out of 725, but I will make note of it here. There's a lot of them that are horizontal as well. And a lot of these are going to be just basic relic cards just a little swatch of bat little swatch of jersey now there will be some variations like here with the fabric of the game we got the base version and the career silver version which is numbered out at 281 some of these are fairly hard to get some of them are pretty easy like i know ones like this you can buy for a couple dollars pretty easy now, i like this one we got four players on here not any of the other players are any of my favorites but we do have helton kent and sheffield on here as well Nice four player. I like them all with a little different burnt in logos there. Here's another one where we got three different Diamondbacks. We got Gonzo, Matt Williams, and Kurt Schilling. I know they make another version or two of this one as well. I think there's Randy Johnson on one. I know this one's not, nope, that one's not numbered. It looks like they have a spot for it, so maybe there is a harder to get version that is numbered as well. A lot of dual and triple patch ones. This one's got a swatch and a bat. Numbered out of 200. When they first started doing these, they would show you the jersey and the bat that they actually took them from, but after a while, they stopped doing that. Ultimate Collection has a lot of variations. I don't even know if I have them all from this year, because there's the base one at 150, I think, and then there's a Magic Numbers number 20, which is numbered to his jersey number. We got Game Use Ball with Mark Grace, another Game Use Ball with Randy Johnson. There's the dual one with he and Sosa. Tools of the Trade. Again, that one's got a little something in there. It's got a little piece of seam or something on there that they left. Domino's Fan Club. They made a bunch of them this year. I think they're all serial numbered, but nothing too crazy. There's 150. There's, let me grab these other ones here. Make a little switch because I know there's a bunch of variations. Let's see. So we got three different variations on here. We got base jersey. We got a base jersey that's a little bit smaller for whatever reason. Did they serial number that one? Nope. That one's just a little bit smaller. One's a game event worn jersey and one's a batting practice jersey. And then we got this one that has a batting practice jersey and a piece of a ball and you got the little piece of Rawlings right there. That's kind of neat. That one is not numbered either. All right, we're through the first little stack. I'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit, otherwise this is gonna be a two hour video. Again, some of these will be base. Some of you'll have a little stripe in there. The no real premium for just a stripe. You got the nifty 50 with the bat and the jersey. And these ones actually are numbered out of 50. Today, that doesn't seem like low numbering, but was then. We've got some EX different versions. We've got both of these are game bases. Numbered out of 48 and numbered out of... Ooh, this one's actually pretty nice. Number 7 out of 13 right there. A couple different finest. You got the bat and then the jersey. Flare and then the Flare Gold. I thought these were kind of dumb when they made them, but they got the ripped version in. I think there is an unripped version as well that might be numbered or something. We get into a first nice patch card. So now we got our first Flare Focus Larger Than Life, and then we go to the nice four color patch right there. That one's numbered out of 100, so not super low numbered, but my first really nice patch. You'll, you'll see a bunch of nice ones in here as I get to them. Here you got America's Game and the gold version, numbered out of 100. Nice oversized swatch there, number to 100. I 
All right. Got a few different versions here, and I think I just kept these because they're all supposed to be the same. But we got different, we got a black swatch. Then we got this one that actually got black, copper, white, and then that little bit of purple there. And this one is an even better looking swatch. You got more of the copper. So I just kept both of those. I thought those were really nice. They're relatively inexpensive, so that's why I figured I'd buy the extras. One fabric of the game there, although it is numbered out of 50. Now here's a, one of my favorite years of cards. We got the Mirror Blue from Leaf Certified with a nice three color patch. Numbered out of 75. All right, look at that. We're through the first stack. Moving along, trying not to damage these too much. Now, again, another thing. I like my cards facing, if I'm holding them facing right. Some people like them this way. I like them this way. But sometimes you have to turn them that way because that's just how they made the card on the back. So I never like it when you have a horizontal card with a vertical back. Just one of those little pet peeves of mine. And we'll get to another multi-variation here. So we got the base card. This one you can tell is a little, you got some different foil in there. And they numbered it out of 250. And then this one is the silver version. So we got a little shinier. And that one they numbered out of 100. SPX and the SPX Silver, a little numbering difference. Here's another one. We got another Gonzo and Sammy Sosa, both with game bases. That one took me a little while to find the Stadium Slices one. Numbered out of 200. Now here's a Master Strokes Artist Proof. So you got the bat. Then you can see you got this nice purple and teal, and then you got the little bit of gold stitching or whatever it is in there. So that one's really nice. I like that one. Numbered out of 200. There's a lot of these where they did a bat version and a jersey version. Got a couple of different varieties here. So here's, they show his rookie card there when he was with the Astros, but you got the base and then the gold. Then same thing here. You got the base and then gold or a little bit of difference, whatever it was. Oh, actually, we just didn't get to it. There's the gold. Now, this Upper Deck Diamond Connections had like three to five jerseys of like every guy. So there's one, two, three different, all from the same set. They're all about two or three dollar cards. Now, here's a couple different four player cards. So this one's got Sean Green, Sammy Sosa, Luis Gonzalez, and Larry Walker, a little Diamond Connections. And this one's all D back. So we got Randy Johnson. Matt Williams, Steve Fenley, and Luis Gonzalez. So a couple nice little four swatch ones there. Double here with Schilling and Gonzo. Little burnt in number 20. Now these that were was a multi-sport product. So yeah, we got Jake Plummer and Gonzo both here from Arizona. I don't think anybody really likes this brand of cards, but it was necessary for the set. Now here's Absolute, we got Tools of the Trade, and then we got the, I don't know what they call these, foil or rainbow, numbered out of 50. They didn't do any special thing for there, but. All right, now there's another nice colored swatch, Statistical Champs, we got Big Purple, and then we got part of a patch and part of a patch there. Serial numbered out of 250. Okay, here's another good patch, National Patch Time. There's a lot of crazy patches in this brand, so got a lot of teal in that patch. That one is numbered out of 100. Here's a couple more variations. So we got base, then we got Fabric of the Game 98, and then this one is 01, numbered out of 101, numbered out of 98, and numbered out of 100. All right, here's a little mirror section, and the, these are always my favorite when you can get all of them together. So we got mirror blue, mirror gold with a crazy patch, and then mirror red. So that's always my favorite when you can put all three of those together. They look really nice. That one's numbered out of 25. And they, about the same thing here with the leaf limited. So we got, let's see if we can do it the right way. We got the base threads, we got the mirror blue with a crazy patch, and then the bat. These are numbered out of 25, 25, and 25. So all these were pretty hard to get. My goal is to keep this under 10 minutes, but we're just over. So hang with me. Look, that one's number three out of 10. I think that's 
one of the lowest numbered ones we've had. These all have like this on the front, like it's a regular card, and then these little card things. You can actually pull the little tray out that they go in. Another one with Grace. Got a bunch of varieties on these. There's a jersey swatch here, and then that's just a little manufactured rubber display piece. So regular and gold, and then a red numbered out of 50, and then this one has the stripes on the plate. All right, we're just about done, so hang in there. This is just a manufactured patch. It's not an actual jersey card, but since it's nice and thick, I kept it with all my jersey cards. Prime cuts. This one was hard to find, too, even though it's out of 100. This was kind of a tough one. We got tops. We got Series 1, Series 2. Who's that one? We got Gonzo with Troy Gloss. This one, we got a World Series tribute. So this one's got Bernie Williams and Luis Gonzalez. Then another manufactured patch type thing. That one's got a game ball, I think. Regular and gold. All right, last handful here. So here we got a triple. We got Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, and Luis Gonzalez. Got Game Face, which has a jersey here, and then they made another version. Got a game base. Some of the times I find them crease like this. Honestly, I don't really care if it's a cheaper one. I'll take the crease one. It doesn't bother me. Starring roll, and then the one that we showed in our thumbnail with this crazy patch from Topps Pristine. All right, that's it. That's part one. That's uh, from 2001 to gets us through, I think, 2004. I got a lot more to go. Uh, that'll be in part three. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And that's it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.